Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to keep this one short, simple and sweet for you. We are going to be going through the current range here on the Bitcoin chart, the levels of utmost importance to be looking for should the support of this range break to the downside and also the resistance levels if the range breaks to the upside. For now we are trading this range until it breaks. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, you're gonna absolutely love this video. So smash that like button as hard as you can, <laughs> because why not? And enjoy the video, just enjoy the video and pay attention to what we're going through here. I'm gonna be talking you through the, oh, the, what is of absolute utmost importance to have a trading plan right now. Why do it? Why is the trading plan so important? Because currently we are in a sideways range off the back of a very big move to the downside. As we all know, we had our original harmonic Gartley here, which played out to give us our rise to $69,000 resistance. From $69,000 resistance, we retested the CC for another move down, put in a sideways range, broke up out of that range to our next level of resistance, which was the daily, which rejected us all the way down to our monthly level of support, which we now have a new daily at. Okay, so just as we were trading this range earlier in the week, or last week now, we now have a new range to be trading, which is very profitable. We have a very clearly defined region of resistance, which is obviously around $61,000. We have a very well-defined area of support, which is obviously low um, $58,000. So between these two levels, we have a clear resistance and we have a clear support. This is all we need to be trading profitably right now. What is going on here? Why is this such an emotional roller coaster for many people where we as champions are relaxed and just patient waiting for the next trade? Well, people have got it in their minds right now that Bitcoin in November is going to $90,000. $90, now I'm seeing it left, right and center. You know, somebody's come out with this plan that Bitcoin is going to be hitting $98,000 in November. You know, I'm seeing people mentioning it everywhere you look. On social media, there's a post about the $98,000 or $92,000, whatever it is. I don't really follow it, but I'm seeing a lot of interaction around this, this, this target. So every time we're reaching the high of the range, you're getting people really excited again, thinking, oh yeah, the bottom's in, here we go, $98,000. I don't know how many of you are options traders, but there's there are a lot of people you know, opening their option calls before the end of November, expecting this price explosion, you know, will they be surprised? Let's wait and see. Um, and, you know, but then likewise, every time we're hitting the low of the range, you know, you're getting the people depressed. Oh my God, was the top in at ninety sixty nine dollars are, are we going down to $20,000 now? You know, it's, it's an emotional roller coaster. How can we remove these emotions totally and be calm, relaxed and prepared for whatever way this market goes? It is by having a plan. And I will share that with you now. So last night, for example, what happens here? We come up to the top of the range. You can see we come up to the top of that range at exactly 1.30, 1.30 a.m. UK time. OK, and for me, this is all part of the plan. This is all part of being prepared. If you have a defined top of the range around $61,000, what you can do is set an alert at that level. When the alert hits, you are not pre-setting shorts. I do not like to pre-set shorts because there's always the possibility price can just move on upwards through the level. But if we have a last high, we have confluence of resistance, we can place an alert here. When the alert goes off, zoom into the chart, take a quick look at the order flow, make an informed decision, e.g. a short Y, where well, we actually formed a swing failure pattern. As you can see here, I, I was up yesterday at 1.30. You know, this is the thing that tr trading, you know, I will say trading is quote unquote easy once you've been able to understand, learn, educate, and, you know, master the topic. R trading is relatively easy. But obviously at the start, it requires a lot of hard work. And even now, I will say trading still, even for myself, requires a lot of hard work because if you become complacent, if you become lazy, you will fall off. To be at the very top, to be the very best, you have to work to be at that level, yeah? And this is why I'm always working every single day, spending hours still on the charts. Why? Because I enjoy the thrill of, of, of the game. You know, I enjoy what I do. I absolutely love, you know, the competitive environment right now. You know, it's heating up left, right, and center. And it's just, it's just amazing. But we come up to the top of the range, 130. You know, I was actually asleep. I have an alert go off. I come over to Discord, here we go, 1.30, Bitcoin crew, the alerts are popping. And what we're looking for here, of course, we're looking for our shorts. Why? Because we have the swing failure pattern at the top 
of the range. So we form a swing failure pattern. And shout out to Daniel, because obviously he had this amazing harmonic idea. And this is, you know, this is all part of the plan, yeah? You can see a, you can see a move up to around $61,000. The confluence here being value area high, swing failure patterns, and harmonic targets. You know, a lot of confluence here. We come up. <laughs> in Igor time as another confluence, within the initial balance as another confluence, and there we go hitting the top of the harmonic as, a, as another confluence. So, you know, you, you can see the importance of being prepared, having that plan prior to the level happening, knowing the trade that we're looking for, which is obviously a short from the top of the range, and then from the question, oh, come on, don't short, my reply is just, you got to laugh because, of course, <laughs> this isn't short. We've formed everything that we're looking for. We've been ready and waiting for the level. And now, you know, this is the beauty of trading. <laughs> you know, take that short, 1.30 a.m., go to sleep. You know, how often, as you, I refer to you, I'm asking the question, how often, or do you think you'd be able to do that? Take a trade just before you go to sleep. Have your entry taken before you sleep and then have a stop loss set have a take profit one set and go to sleep relaxed so you don't need to be checking your phone in the middle of the night every five minutes so you are not anxious lying in bed thinking am i going to win or am i going to lose this trade no you have made a plan you have seen your entry trigger you have seen the swing failure pattern you have taken the trade you've placed a stop loss you've placed a take profit one and you have gone to sleep happy and content and sleep like a baby. Sleep like an absolute baby. Why? Because we have that trading plan. If we had got stopped out overnight, it wouldn't have mattered because it would have been a minuscule loss and it would have been overall absolutely acceptable if we had taken a loss in that trade. Instead, we wake up at 10 a.m. <laughs> well, this is when I woke up. I woke up at 10 a.m. to see a move down towards the local CC Fibonacci level which is obviously taken from the low to the high. We move down towards that CC Fibonacci level. We obviously find a little bit of support worth the take profit one. And now that trade is guaranteed profit. What we can do is move the entry to, you know, move our original stop loss into now entry. And we will wait to see if we move down to the low of the range or we reclaim the higher of the range now as support and move on up towards our weekly level. So that is, first of all, I wanted to talk you through here briefly, the need for a plan, okay? The need for marking out support and resistance levels before they happen, okay? When it comes up into your levels where you wanna take the trade, not getting scared, not getting fearful, not getting bullish up here, but seeing the reaction that we want, a very clear swing failure pattern, that gives us a very easy entry, very easy invalidation, and a very easy target. We've taken the trade with no hesitation and no emotions. Why? Because we had that plan and we're trading it. And it's, it's as simple as that. And that obviously brings us on to, to where we are here in the in the chart. And all I was, uh, two, two, as always now, two announcements before we get on to what is happening here. First announcement is that I have a special members only altcoin live stream today, later on today. So if you want to join in on that altcoin live stream, where of course we saw extreme volatility yesterday, <laughs> including Algo, yes, uh, Algo actually done a hundred percent move to the upside. Um, so yeah, I'll be covering altcoins in a special altcoin stream today. Um, a lot of people are looking forward to this because <laughs> they've been very good in recent times. Uh, so obviously I'm going to be covering my favorite altcoins in a time which this reminds me of late 2017, early 2018, by the way, where altcoins kind of went crazy. Um, it reminds me of that, but even worse now, like there's even more hype around the altcoins. And I, and I personally feel that a lot of people are going to get wrecked trying to chase the next Shiba Inu coin. Um, I really do. So you have to be really, really careful right now with the alts. You cannot just ape into things. A lot of people are going to get wrecked. So I'm going to do an altcoin live stream going through my favorite altcoins, which I truly believe have a lot of potential here. Uh, so I got that plan today. And of course, the other announcement is that, you know, speaking of having a plan, speaking about trading psychology and emotions, uh, yesterday, Victor and trading assistant George actually done the um, a, a trading psychology video in which it was obviously Victor's video. And yes, he used to be a heart surgeon, which is pretty cool. He went from heart being a heart surgeon uh, to coming and, and being a trader with us, which is pretty, pretty special. But last night, um, yeah, they, they done a, uh, 
a special live stream talking you through that. There's Victor and George with his first ever Contenders live stream. Absolutely smashed it. Uh, you can see a lot of people absolutely loving that one. So if you want to watch that stream back from last night, of course, that video and all of the Contenders and Champions videos are on the website on demand for you to watch back whenever you want. And the next one that I will do is obviously today for a special extra video. So if you want to see any of that, that's all over at chartchampions.com. Okay, with that announcements done, let's move on to Bitcoin and go over the current range that we are still trading. So as, as mentioned, I think I've mentioned this enough now. It's obviously a short position for us. Again, it's an intraday short. It's not really something that we're looking to hold to $20,000. We're trading this current range. So where's the low of the range? Well, it's kind of easily well defined. It was an old daily level around that monthly which comes in at, obviously we can see the exact level here, 58,476. Held you up here for the wick, held you up here for the wick. Overall, you know, we, we, we are still within that range. So we have this clear as day daily level of support, okay? Again, this is a level which we can expect to be maybe front run slightly at times or come through the level for swing failure pattern type moves um, for, for support. So that we, we view this e.g. as a zone. Okay, if we lose this zone of support, then of course, we're going to be moving down towards our next level of daily support, which is around $57,000. Again, this can be viewed as a zone, $300 either side. I've said this before in an older video, 57,000, e.g. 57,300, you know, 56,700. So this is our, our next zone of support to the downside. To the upside, again, it's fairly simple. Currently, we have that $61,000, which if you remember, from the analysis that we've given you, $61,000 was a major point of control. So this is the point of control of higher term time frame. So $61,000 obviously was support, now flipped into resistance at the moment. If we reclaim that, we got our weekly level then above us, which is 61500 If we get through that, then we can be looking back up towards our old major uh, SR, flip, SR level, which was obviously 63760 Okay. Um, so that, that, that's the current range that we're within. That's the current trade that I'm within and how I'm looking to approach this. Of course, if we break out of this old 61K, we know our next level to the upside. And I hope you can appreciate the thought process that I'm sharing here. You know, it's kind of like flipping a lot of things on their head. Many people, when it's breaking down, are fearful, scared, and looking for shorts. Many people, every time it moves up, they're bullish, you know, ultra bullish even this month, looking for $98,000. But anyway, you, you know, they're looking very bullish. They're looking for the longs on the breakouts. We teach the style of trading, which is totally against that. You know, even when it comes to textbook patterns, you know, people spend, you know, a year reading every textbook under the sun. Our oh, head and shoulders, we need to long the breakout. We got our measured moves. And then we're saying, no, actually do the exact opposite of this. <laughs> Look for the shorts on the breakout of these things. Look for the longs on the fake outs of the head and shoulders. You know, it's it's kind of funny, but it, it really is a style of training that just works right now. And, uh, you know, of course, we teach all of that if you want to learn it. And if you're just here for the free videos, then, hey, you can at least smash that like button. Show us that you love what we do. And, hey, that would be absolutely brilliant, of course. Every Tuesday and Thursday right now, we are doing as well the uh, community post. So, of course, today is a Thursday. There is a new community post. If you come over to our YouTube channel, click on community, you can see there is a new community post posted one hour ago. So you can come over, click read more and read through that. And, um... Yeah, I think that is it. <laughs> so I will just say once again, ladies and gentlemen, trade the range until it breaks, remove those emotions. And um, yeah, I suppose that's it really. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. I hope I have been of help for you. Thank you ever so much. And I hope that you have enjoyed the non-financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is for your education, entertainment video only. So I truly hope that it has helped you. Thank you ever so much. Have a brilliant day and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And I'll see you over in the altcoin stream, I suppose. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>